So first up, if you've never heard of Camp America, if you don't know what it's all about, if this is maybe your first time typing that into YouTube to see what it's all about, this might not be the best video to start on. This is my second summer at Pinemere Camp. I am moving up from media team counsellor to media team supervisor. And this is really about the experience of, you know, going back, stepping up into a new role. So if you want to know about that, if you're thinking about going back to camp, this is absolutely the video for you. Otherwise, I'd highly suggest first going to check out Millie Elizabeth's channel. She's a friend. Hi, Millie. She made some brilliant videos last summer and across the course of last year about a first time camp experience, what to expect. If you're still here, great. This is summer 2023 at Pinemere Camp. Good morning. It is about half past nine. We're in Brooklyn, uh, sitting in my hostel that I have been staying in since I arrived in America last night. And today we are on our way back to Pioneer, which is a really surreal thing to be saying. I believe I'm the first of the internationals to arrive in America, which is, yeah, bizarre. Uh, gonna find, gonna grab a coffee, find a nice place to sit and do some work. And then, yeah, we're going home. <laughs> okay, this is it. Had a nice relaxing morning at the hostel. And now we are on our way to meet Millie and Safi and Fiona and go on our way back to camp. Here we are. <laughs> How was your flight, Millie? Um, pretty all right. Oh, I didn't tell you, I faint. I nearly fainted in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the airport in Manchester. I had like three hours sleep. I just checked my bag in and I stumbled into this random airport walk and I was like, I'm about to pass out. And then I had to get um, wheelchair through security and threw him into my gate, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Safi, can you show me how much luggage you brought? Because I feel, We've I now feel warmly. But that's only because I have like 20 bikinis because we are waterfront supervisor this year. Hell yeah. So. I feel woefully unprepared. I've, I've, got, I've got this pack and I've got this on my back and that is it. But we're, uh, you know, it's mostly full of camera stuff, honestly. So we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, uh, oh, vlogception. Vlogception. Oh my god! <laughs> Run away! Uh, Woo! Uh, <laughs> that is the state border between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. We're actually, so actually weird. home. <laughs> and I'm working already. Of course I am. Already? Already. <laughs> look at you, Sam Lloyd. Camera out. Ready to go. Sam Lloyd in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Henry, it seems like a certain type of day in the Poconos today, but I can't quite put my finger on what kind of day that might be. You know, I think it's another beautiful day in the Poconos. It's a beautiful day in the Poconos. Woo! Our first official job as supervisors. Lake is beautiful today. Yeah. We are on our way to see the new rec hall. <laughs> That's insane. I was not prepared for that. It's it's insane, but just yeah. wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait till you see the rest. Four. Jeez.
This is weird. I wasn't expecting to be quite so speechless looking at uh, what was supposed to be just a reconstruction of an old building, but it's, in, it's completely different. One of the weirdest things so far is like all the anxieties you have about coming back, like the food and not having any time to yourself and everything like that just kind of goes away the second you get here. There are of course still like new anxieties like being a team leader and super OT and all that stuff. But I guess it, that's that's like last year, you know, we, we faced those things as they came and it was all fine. Well, better than fine, it was great. So it's gonna be an interesting time getting used to all this again. Hello. Fashion. Fashion. I love it. <laughs> they always get. They always end up getting it, having a favorite. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't, there's no. By the way. Oh. That was so much more money than I thought. Except your shoes were eight dollars. My shoes were eight dollars. That's, That's astonishing. Here we are, the mythical Gables at last. This place is the freaking cutest. Mm. That's so good. Here he is. Oh, my roomie. How's it going, roomie? So, we're about to step into the new bunk for the first time. Except for the time that I stood in here earlier today without knowing that it was my new bunk. Oh, nice light. Oh, this one's a porch light, that's Here we go. <laughs> Ethan Falk. Ethan Falk. We're up in the village. It's beautiful here. This is where the older boys at camp live. The, uh, the I think it's... 13 to 15 year olds so it's gonna be a really nice community especially when all the other councillors get here in about a week it's real dusty it's real dusty we're gonna give it a good clean this is you know this space is gonna be me and Robbie and also Levin who I've never met but I'm super excited to meet him oh god there's rat heads in here oh right well this is gonna take some work. I'm gonna sit too because sit. <laughs> <laughs> the, better, the better joke was sit too. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we used to sing a song about murdering uh, your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Well, murdering your girlfriend who didn't want to marry you on the first night of camp. And that uh, didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's how On The Loose came to be. Uh, yeah. Cool. You guys know the words. <laughs> Have you ever watched the sunrise to the sky completely red? Have you slept beneath the moon and stars? I know for your bed. Do you sit and talk with friends? Though not a word is ever said. Then you're just like me and you've been on the loose. On the loose to climb a mountain. On the loose where I am free. On the loose to live my life the way I think my life should be. For I only have a moment, and this whole world yet to see. I'll be looking for tomorrow on the loose. Just spent our first night in the village, and it's freezing. And look. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look how beautiful. One of those magical pine men moments. But of course, you don't ever expect to come to a summer camp and be wearing 
sweater and jeans and be freezing your face off as you sleep. <laughs> Another beautiful day in the Poconos. <laughs> yeah. Someone's got a sacrifice. <laughs> Someone's just up on. Wait, I think Jared needs to be What up? Three. Two out of three. We're not savages. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Let's go. Give me that. Maybe now is as good a time as any to mention the bizarre weather conditions going on at camp here. There is a huge forest fire over in Canada and the smog from that is blowing all the way over here to Pennsylvania and the safe air levels, well the air levels are like like a hundred points off the safe limits so that's kind of interesting it does mean that everything looks kind of foggy and we can't be outside for too long just kind of hoping it goes away soon so we can crack on with things. What have we just been doing, Millie? We have just been going through the whole camp. Wait, this is gonna go up after camp, right? So like, yeah, after camp. Gonna, okay, I can show everybody. We've just gone through the whole camp calendar, oh, which is crazy. I'm so excited for this. Basically, we get to see when like all the evening activities, special days like Lazy Days, Maccabi, all of that good stuff. And I love it because it means Especially for us supervisors, we can plan our days off like properly, um, which yeah. is, it's just, mm. it's really exciting. It's like a really exciting time. Wait, did you? So, I wrote everything down, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchtime. I've started journaling which is something I did last year. It was a good way to kind of reflect on the day and also just kind of commit it to memory. And I'm currently just thinking about the fact that I am sat alone in the woods. And we haven't had our bear training yet, so I don't know what I'd do if one came out of me right now. There we go. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So yeah, our staff training is incredibly dull. <laughs> Very mundane, completely normal. <laughs> Jared Weiland, super excited to be with all of you for this incredible summer 2023. Let's make it a great one. Signing off. I would really love for everyone to say, show us the same respect that you show the campers. It's not camp one day. <laughs> on Sam's camera. Hello, we're here. Oh wow, what a close up. Okay. So, um, we're cleaning leaves. We're cleaning leaves. Hey. <laughs> I'm a soft, one of the head counselor this year. Today, what we're doing, 
we're cleaning the staff lounge mm. to make and sure this it's actually. This is for you guys. This is for you. You will see. We're gonna make sure that you're gonna have a livable and happy place to be in. Yes, that's what guys, what are we doing right now? Making uh, candy sushi. Candy sushi. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, somebody else. Yeah. 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 What's up everyone? This is Jared coming back to you with another video. We are here at a supervisor cookout. It's about day six, week one, supervisor week still. Uh, most of the international staff come tomorrow, so documenting the days of our summer. Super excited about the staff coming tomorrow. Can't wait to meet them all, but capping off supervisor week the right way with cookout and some mush burgers. We are looking for the perfect hot dog stick, aren't we, Zoe? Yeah. What is the best quality of a hot dog stick? You, it needs to be long so you don't burn yourself. It needs to have a small end so the hot dog doesn't split in half. And it needs to be strong so it doesn't break and drop your hot dog. Some extremely good advice. <laughs> Robbie is whittling my perfect yeah, stick into a hot dog machine. Look at the skill on display here. Matt Zager, CIT supervisor. What is a mush burger? So uh, it's pretty much you take some ground beef, smush it down, put in all the ingredients you want, some uh, some onions, lettuce, tomato, carrots, literally anything, whatever, and then you uh, flatten it all down, put in some tin foil and cook it over the fire. What's your perfect uh, mush burger? I think you really gotta put in everything, or at least as much as you can. I, that's really also, I was always a picky eater, but mush burgers really got me to eat a lot more things. Isn't it? Is potato chips in the mush burger. In the burger? In the burger, yay or nay? You can never have, well I don't want to say never have too much ketchup, but ketchup, it's I, do, I do you like gotta ketchup. Try. Yeah. One thing I do for my mush burger, that I got a few people into this, is you don't make your hot dog over the fire, you toss, or if you get two hot dogs, you toss a hot, I toss my hot dog in my mush burger, let it cook with the mush burger. That's a good idea. Fiona. How do you like your mush burgers? How do I like my mush burgers? I'm probably not going to eat it, but I'm going to put in, if I have to, potatoes, garlic, maybe carrots, um, what else? Lettuce, mm, ketchup, no ketchup. No ketchup? No ketchup. Hot take. You some? Perfect. Me? Uh, I, like, I like a bit of everything. I literally... I'll take a bit of everything. Also, kind of hot take, sriracha in the mush burger. Plenty of it, nice and spicy. So this is the art of the mush burger, courtesy of Jess Gordon, row you well. What is in your mush burger, Jess? Well, I'm a vegetarian, so mine is actually impossible meat. Wow. And then, yeah, I'm special like that. And then <laughs> potatoes, onions, and lettuce for my veggies, and then four ketchup packs and as much oil and mustard as felt acceptable to take so that everyone had equal portions. Incredible. I hope it's delicious. Oh, it will be. It will be. And then the, the key end piece is spreading it out as thin as you can. That's the end. You want to spread her. Amazing. Thank you so much for your tips. I'm going to go do mine now. As you should. Um, very delicate art. The mush burger, I hope, is prettier in taste than it is in appearance. The first rain of the summer is here, and we are about to receive our first star. How are we all feeling? Yeah. 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 Terrified. 